Pi Day was a couple of weeks ago on March 14th, 314. And I was going to do a video about calculating pi by counting pixels on the screen. Once you draw a circle on the screen in graphics mode, then counting the pixels and using that as an estimate of circumference. But that's not the right way to calculate pi. And I wanted to show you why that didn't work. And I thought this would be a good April 1st video. So let's do a program here about how to calculate pi by counting pixels on the screen. So we're going to do a new program here called pi.c. So we want to uh, put the screen into graphics mode. So to do that, we need to do uh, include uh, graph.h. Uh, actually, before that, we also need to uh, be able to print our results at the end of the program. So we'll do include standard io.h. And so now let's, uh, let's put the screen into graphics mode. So we'll do an int uh, main program. I don't need any uh, command line options, so I'll have an empty argument list there. And let's uh, put the screen to graphics mode. That is set video mode. And that's uh, V res 16 color. And that's going to put it into 640 by 480 mode, uh, 640 by 480 mode at uh, 16 colors, standard VGA resolution. And let's uh, set the color to seven. That, that should be a low resolution white. And now let's draw a circle on the screen. Now, the resolution here from uh, at 640 by 480, that means that the upper left will be 0, 0, and the bottom right will be uh, 639 and 479. So to draw a circle, I want to draw a circle uh, from 0, 0 to 479, 479. That gives me the most uh, possible screen resolution that I can possibly have. So let's, uh, now that we've set the color to, to seven, to white, let's go ahead and draw an ellipse on screen. And that's actually uh, going to draw a circle if we use uh, a square coordinate, 0, 0 to 479, 479. Remember, the first option here will allow us to fill the interior or to draw a border. So we're going to do G border. That'll just draw a single uh, one pixel border around the, uh, the circle. Now, DOS doesn't actually do any anti-aliasing. So it's either going to draw a pixel or it's not going to draw a pixel. So this G border will only draw single dots on screen. That's going to be important later. And I want to do this from 0, 0 to 479, 479. So now that I've done that, let's just real quick uh, make sure that that program works. So we'll do uh, get ch, oops, get ch uh, and then we'll return back to text mode. That's uh, set video mode uh, to default mode. And then we'll return back to the operating system with a successful code of 0. By the way, since I'm using get ch back up here, I now need to uh, include, oops, uh, include uh, conio.h because that's where getch is defined. So let's go ahead and save and quit and just compile this program to see what it looks like. WCL uh, hyphen Q will do quiet, doesn't print out quite so much, and then pi.c. And if I run the program pi, you can see that I have a black background and I've drawn a white circle from 0, 0 to 479, 479. That's why the, the circle ends on the very bottom pixel row on my screen. And so that's what we're drawing here. And this is drawn with a, with everything as a single pixel. It's not doing any, any, any anti-aliasing to try and put pixels between pixels that are, you know, some other color. It's either going to be black or it's going to be white, white in this case being seven. So let's edit this again, fed pi.c. And I want to count up the number of pixels that I have on my screen. So to do that, I need to define a variable that will, uh, that will capture that. So up here at the beginning of my program, let's do a, an unsigned uh, long, unsigned long. And uh, I'm doing this as unsigned because that makes the uh, variable be able to count just a little bit higher, but also we're not going to have negative numbers of pixels. So do an unsigned and long means it's already a long variable. Uh, and uh, so that way I'm not going to overflow it and we'll call that one count. This will be roughly equivalent. Uh, I had originally thought to be the, uh, the circumference. Um, 
so let's go ahead and uh, let's all, we also need to be able to grab uh, uh, pixels that are on the screen so that we need to be able to iterate across the screen. So we're going to need uh, another variable here called int x and another one y. All right, so now that we've drawn our circle, uh, so let's put a comment in here that we're drawing our circle. Now down here, before we return back the operating system, let's actually uh, iterate through that field. So we're going to iterate uh, from 0, 0 to 479, 479, and we're going to count pixels. And so we need to make sure that count is going to be 0 before we do that. And then we need to uh, iterate through that entire uh, range. So we'll say 4, x is 0. And so that's the left-hand side of the screen. And then x is less than or equal to 479. That's the, uh, the, the right-hand side of the circle. And then uh, uh, the uh, x plus plus is at the end of every loop. It's going to iterate that x variable by 1. And then inside that, I'm going to also now iterate on the y side. So I'm going to do 4, y equals 0. And that's the top of the screen. And then as long as y is less than or equal to 4, 7, 9, that's the bottom row of the screen. And then y plus plus. And inside there, now let's, let's, let's do this. We're going to count the pixels if it's... Uh, if it's founded. It, well, there's another video I've done on how to get the color of the pixel on the screen, and that is uh, if uh, get pixel, and then the specific coordinate at the x and y. So if the x, y coordinate has a color value of 7, well, then that means that uh, this is the circle. And so I can increment the count by 1. And let's also highlight the pixel. So we'll uh, highlight uh, the pixel just to show that we found it. And so we'll set the color to 15. That should be a bright white. And then we're going to set the pixel at that XY to now be 15. So that's if we have found the pixel. Now, if we don't find a, a white pixel, uh, let's do an else. And so in this case, we'll just highlight uh, the non-pixel. And so we'll set the color to 1, and that should be blue. And then we'll set the color of the pixel at that xy coordinate. And so that is now uh, walking through the entire XY region of that circle from 0, 0 to 479, 479, uh, and it's counting up all of the pixels. And just so we can see its progress, we're going to highlight any pixels that it finds. We're going to make them bright white. And any pixels that it, that it finds that are black, then it's going to be uh, now turn that into blue. So we can actually watch the progress of this thing uh, as it runs through. At the end of the program, before we actually uh, return back the operating system, let's actually uh, print the results. And so we'll do a printf, uh, the, uh, uh, the pixel count, which I had wondered if that was going to be equivalent to the circumference. Uh, is and then what is that value? That's percent, uh, and now when you put that in as a as an unsigned long, and so to that we're going to say uh, L U, and that is the count. And let's just leave it at that, and then return back to the operating system, and save and quit. W C L, quiet pi dot C. And now if I run that program, because I'm not seeing any errors, you can watch as it actually uh, paints every pixel from left to right. And the ones that it finds that are part of the circle, it makes it a bright white. So you can see that's definitely changing. And the ones that are black, it's going to change to blue. So you can see that changing. And now that it's done, it's now asked me to press a key on the keyboard. So I'll hit space. And now it tells me the circumference, or at least the pixel count, is 1,356.
Now we know that pi is uh, the ratio of the circumference of a circle divided by its diameter. And now we can edit our, our program one more time, fed pi dot c. And let's print out the value of pi, or what we think is the value of pi. So we'll do a put s just to remind us about what things are. So uh, the, uh, uh, the diameter is, and that is going from 0, 0 to 479. So that's 480. So we definitely know that. And then we'll do a printf. Uh, pi should be the ratio of the circumference of a circle by its diameter. And in that case, that should be uh, percent F. That'll be a float value or a double precision value. And so for that, we're going to uh, put uh, count, but I want to make sure that's going to be a double precision value. So we're going to cast that into a double value and then divided by uh, 480. And so that should give me the value of the count divided by 480. 480 is definitely the diameter. And I had initially assumed that uh, you could be close enough. I didn't think it would be exact, but I thought it'd be close enough to count pixels on this. Uh, and that is definitely not what happens because if we now compile this, WCL hyphen Q to make it quiet, pi dot C, and we now run the program. So again, it's walking through, and anytime it finds a black pixel, it turns it blue. Anytime it finds a white pixel, low intensity white pixel, it turns it a bright white. And it's counting up all the pixels on the circle. It knows how wide how, how wide the circle is, what their what their diameter is. And so now if I ask it to calculate that, I get a value that is nowhere close to 3.141. I get a value that's 2.8. And I'll also add, I, I've tried this at a couple of different uh, uh, resolutions, and uh, I'm always getting a value that's around somewhere in the vicinity of 2.8. The reason for that is that uh, you're basically sampling the circle, and uh, you are not actually measuring the circumference. But I thought this would be a cheap way to do a, a, a circumference by, by counting pixels. Turns out it doesn't work. I'll leave it to you to find a better way to do that. Uh, and with that, I'll, I'll wrap up. So what do you think about this video? Let me know in the comments below. Uh, before I go, I want to thank everybody who supports me on Patreon. You definitely make this channel happen. So thank you so much for your support. Some of you are sponsoring me at a higher level, and I want to thank you again, especially here for that. Visit our website at freedos.org. Join us on Facebook. Follow us on Twitter. And consider supporting me on Patreon. Thank you.